Today's video is all about this $20 helmet lock from my BMW R9T. Is it any good? Should you buy it? Let's find out by installing it first and giving it a quick test. If you're wondering what comes in this package, it's basically just the lock with your two keys and some uh, mounting hardware, aka a couple of bolts with some spacers. And the last thing that's included is actually instructions. Pretty simple, tells you what's included here uh, in the package and then how to do it. It's basically remove two screws uh, from just right there and then install the bracket and put the new screws in. Done. So let's do that and then we'll give it a test. Of course, you will also need a couple of tools. Uh, you will need a hex uh, socket and then some e-torques to remove the existing bolts in there. So one thing that I was worried about is that it would get in my way, but it's basically going to sit under the seat like this and it should be just fine. So the original bolts here under the seat are T25. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove them. Got one, a little bit weird of an axis here, but definitely not hard. All right, and now using the new bolts that were included, we're gonna have them uh, configured just like this. You have the bolt, you have the locking, washer and then you have this little spacer that they have provided and the reason there's a spacer there is because the original bolt has one of those spacers too so basically it goes and inside the plastic and holds it tighter to uh, the metal to the frame and done all right guys so as you can see for 20 dollars, this lock works really well it matches the bike pretty nicely and it fits in this spot very decently it doesn't stick out too much or anything like that and well overall i think it's a good value for 20 bucks but i have watched enough lock picking lawyer to know that these cheap locks will usually be easy to open so let's try it with this bobby pin never really done this before but how hard can it be right Uh, this happened so I wasn't able to open it exactly but this came out it's still locked okay so that's one thing okay if we put it back it definitely doesn't come out if you you know if it's a uh, properly locked but this somehow pushes some pins and opens it up now I'm gonna try this nail clipper that's easy to do also yeah there you go I got it you see that so as you can see, it's clearly not the most advanced lock on the market or anything like that. But you also have to remember that most crime is opportunistic. So if somebody sees a helmet that's just on your handlebars, it's a lot more likely to be stolen than, you know, something that's being locked. Even if it doesn't take a lot of effort to unlock it using something like this. So I, I thought I'd just make a quick video about this little product. It's only 20 bucks so it definitely adds some convenience especially when you go to a store or something like this to store your helmet uh, if you'd like to purchase one yourself check out the links in the description i am not affiliated with this company or anything like that but i thought you guys might find it useful because it took me a second to find one that wasn't you know close to 100 dollars just for a lock so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it if you like the video like it if you want to see more bike and BMW type of content, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.